Hello and welcome to Grapple Games TV. This is Josh Foster and with me in the booth is Derek Billy. How's it going, Derek? How's it going, bro? Well, we've got another Friday Night Magic match for you. Um, this one's Brian versus Seth. Brian is running a uh, green-white deck and Seth is running Esper Control. Okay, this should be a pretty good match. <coughs> Seems like Brian's going to be dropping a bunch of threats and Seth's going to have to rely on Supreme Verdicts to counteract that. Start out with a temple. Scry. Let's see. Ooh, no first turn threat. Evolt. Okay. No second turn threat. This isn't good. Yeah, anytime you give control time to start yeah, building this, up. Yeah, this is Seth's kind of game right here. He's just going to shock stuff in. He's like, hey... I ain't got no threats coming at me, so I got all the life in the world. There's a green. I'm assuming we're going to see a threat on turn three. Yeah, okay. Fleece main probably? Yeah. Oh, syncopate. It's just a friendly little lion. What harm could it do? Uh, it's fine until that thing gets <laughs> monstrous. Then after that, it's a pain. You can't do anything to it. Uh, for Jace, yeah, tick up or down. Uh, I'm guessing we ticked up. Probably has a lot of answers in his hand, so might as well get some counters on the Jace. Yeah, I mean, if he can ultimate Jace, then he can just go get his Elspeth or whatever win condition he's playing. Bramaz. Bramaz. The Kitty King. Okay. I do see a Supreme Verdict in Seth's hand. I think. Yeah. But he's going to hold off on that. You don't want to one for one yourself with Supreme Verdict for Bramaz. It's not worth it. Ticking down. Ew. Wow. Have fun with that, Brian. Yeah, that's a, that's a <laughs> tough one. The two main win conditions oh, of the God. deck. Interesting. I actually think I would have went the other way with that. But the land with Elspeth? Yeah, because if Etherlene hits the board, I don't know what Brian could do against it. Well, he puts Etherlene on the bottom. Takes the Elspeth. Hmm. And Detention Spheres for Maz. And gets in with the Mutable. All right. 18 all. The fact that Seth hasn't taken any damage except from himself, I'm going to put him as a very high prospect to win this game. You're already on turn five. Yeah. As long as he keeps making land drops, he's fine. All right, so Brian's deliberating about uh, his scry. Trying to figure out if he should keep it on top or not. He keeps it there, and then... Voice the of Resurgence. Voice. That's a good card against Seth. Basically means all his... Oh, well, never mind. Let's say all his counters were shut down, so he pulled that Detection Sphere. Now you detention sphere voice of resurgence. And and it's exiled instead of dying. Yep, it's exiled, so you get no token. Unless he's got another one in his hand. What is the. I think I saw another syncopate. I see a syncopate. I see a supreme verdict. An Elspeth. Wow. Alright, so he takes the dissolve. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, here comes Elspeth. Okay, plus Elspeth. Gets Brings along his little army. Yep. Passes her. <coughs> I guess he does have Supreme Verdict, so he could just rely on that if it gets too out of hand. Uh-oh. Another voice. 
Now he might be kicking himself for not taking that detention sphere. <laughs> <laughs> and Banisher Priest says no to one of the little soldiers. Yeah, those just go away. He oh, have you seen the uh, the March F and M promo for the Banisher Priest? Uh uh It's pretty sweet. Ooh. I like that they're doing promo cards now that we actually play. Yeah, <laughs> and they look amazing. Like yeah. the last, um, minus the uh, <laughs> the sin collector, which creeped me out. But I like the sin collector. <laughs> that was cool looking. Yeah, so far, I mean, they've been awesome. Like highly sought after cards. You know, I've got four of the mystics, and Brendan took them from me. I gotta play these. No, you don't. You have oh, mystics. There's another answer for voice. Uh, last last breath. breath. That excels it. Of course, gives Brian a little bit of life, but I don't think Seth's uh, worried with it, about that with no, Elspeth on board. No, that. It still just seems that taking the detention sphere would have been better because he would have speared or speared both voices and then been able to counter at that point. Now he's still got to deal with... And he could have the last breath banished a priest. Oh. Supreme verdict. Okay, okay, wait. Take Supreme Verdict away. You last breath, I guess he doesn't get the one token, so it's only one instead of two. I guess that's okay. Alright, another temple plenty for Brian. Seems Green White's making a comeback. Alright, he leaves it on top. Yeah, I like Green White. Nate, Nate made it to uh, Star City with it. Actually, went, what do you do? 7 2 and 1. He actually prized at Star City with it. Mm hmm. That's pretty good. All right. In come Elspeth's soldiers, taking Brian down to 19. Yeah, I don't think you blocked there. That'd be kind of a waste of an XX creature, so. How many cards does he have in his hand, though? I think just one. Oh. Okay. One or two. So Seth's pretty much taking over this game at that point. Take the Dissolve. Now he has a grip full of counter magic that he can cast. So he should have two Dissolves, a Syncopate, and then whatever else is left in his hand. Six untapped mana. Yeah. Yeah, so no matter what Brian tries to cast, he's going to say no. Yeah, Elspeth ticking up. I don't see a way for him to get out of this. Unless he's running Miss Cutters in the main. Miss Cutter would put us on a clock. All right, planes and go. I mean, at this point, if I'm Seth, I'm just swinging with Elspeth tokens and everything, because even if he tries to advent, you can counter it. Not a big deal. And Elspeth's on six, I think. Um, I don't know. Is she seven? He has two dice on it. Oh, she's seven. It's game <coughs> over. Three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. I can't see the numbers on the dice, but... He has he does have two dice, but yeah, that's Brian, it. go ahead and scoops. Yeah, it's hard to overcome once El Elspeth's about to ultimate. Well, yeah, the it, it was <laughs> it was doomed for Brian to begin with when he was on turn four and hadn't done any damage yeah. to Seth whatsoever. Too slow of a start to yeah. even. You can't beat us. You got to put the way. pressure on control. Mm -hmm. Then they have to rely on their Sphinx's revs to gain life and get okay. cards. Are we in game two now? Game two. All right. Both the pair to be keeping. All right. Still no first. Planes and play. go. The best new card for control. Sky land in the environment. Yes. Yeah, it definitely gives tons of peeking into the future for control. Which just Thins really isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's really just not. Thins out getting your lands or getting your spells, whatever you need at the time. 
Alright, he's got both lands. He should go voice of resurgence here, I'm hoping. No? Passes. Nothing. Maybe he's got a um What's that two one flash creature that flies? Um it's pro blue or something. Yeah, him. Oh. <laughs> reach, not that far. Er, Skylasher, yeah. yeah. Skylasher. Let's say he had to have something. Can't be countered. But it he can, can be, be last breath. <laughs> yep, so Brian's up to 24. Oh, man. And a soldier. There's a lonely soldier. Temple of Deceit with a scry. And it looks like Seth leaves it on top. Again, this is not the start that Brian wanted to have. Maybe he's got another one of those. Yep, he's got something. Another Skylasher. Okay. So we got some threats now. Swing with both. All right, gets in for four. All right, follow-up play is going to be... Shocked in Temple. Maybe uh, maybe the worm. Uh, it has to be. He, he telegraphed that by shocking the land in. Yep. And Seth should know that. I mean, he's going to hold that counter magic. Or he's not. I mean, whatever. He's just going to play Jace. Tick up. And yeah, see, I don't agree with that play at all. The advent... Yeah. Well, no, yeah, because or Seth shouldn't have tapped out there unless he has no counters in his hand. If he had any kind of counter whatsoever, he should have knew that Advent was coming. But he does have a Supreme Verdict in his hand, so I guess it's not too bad. Take five, six, nine. seven, eight, nine, minus three, so six. Take six damage because of the Jace triggers. Oh, I took out Jace. A little bit of buffer oh, to his life. Okay, so we hit Jace. Here and now he's Supreme he Verdict. This is in response. I'm going to make another worm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Swing for five. So that's right. the ten. Bring him down to ten. Does he have a follow up? No. Does he have another advent in his hand? Um. No, I guess not. So it looks like it looks like Seth's got an Azorius charm though. Yep. All right, put that back on top. Oh wait a minute. Brave the elements. Brave the elements. Unfortunately, the, uh, unfortunately no, that no, doesn't work. It's a green. It's a green creature. Oh wait, did Dispel he let that go? Yep. No, no, that doesn't work. They they missed that one. The spell is green white, but the gr the right, the, the worm token, is green. The token's green. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this could actually kill Seth. Well, we got Elspeth coming. Minus Elspeth, that works. Yep, looks like he minus it. That'll get rid of the worm. Well, yeah, I mean, Seth's down to five. But he's but Brian's got no more pressure. So now we got Elspa tokens coming. This is where Seth starts turning the corner. All he needs is a Sphinx's Rev, and and he's sitting pretty. And he, uh oh, he's counting mana. <laughs> <laughs> That's All not right. a good side. As a control player, I know as soon as you start counting mana, it's usually a bad thing. Or if you shock the land in when you really do. Uh oh, here it comes. Rev for four. Rev for four. Yep. Go up to nine, draw four cards, have Elspeth on the board, and nothing else from your opponent. Yeah, this game's over. Brian just mana flooded out. He. he had a strong start and then got a couple advents out there but he just flooded out that's way too much land for his deck to have and play I don't think he wants to go past four period
And this is where it's very disheartening for the other player. You know, the control player is like, okay, I've just gained control. I know exactly what's going to happen. Now the other player is like, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't break through this force field anymore. Anything I cast is probably going to be countered. Oh, look, it's Bronze. I don't think that's going to stick around. Or he does have a detention sphere in his hand. So, yeah, I guess it can stick around. Looks like he's um, syncopating. Oh, no, he's syncopating it. Okay. How much did he syncopate it for? Um, Six. For five. Five? Okay. Get that out of here. That would have been tragic, though, if Seth lost this game because of that Brave the Elements on the Worm token. Yeah, going back to Star City this past weekend, we were there. Nate had that happen to him three different times. People went to go block with a Soldier of Pantheon thinking that it was a multicolored token. Oh, yeah. Nope. It just died. They're like, no, it's multicolored. He's like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> He tries to make a soldier to stay alive. And that's not going to happen. Either. Dissolved. Yep. All right. And that's the end, the end of the game. Yep. Uh, so Brian was successfully controlled. I mean, he, he had a lot of threats, but when Esper just says no, 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 yeah. or when, <laughs> put when that Esper back. When six, seven mana, you're, you're pretty much done. There's nothing that you can do. If you don't have a, a plethora of amount of damage already done by that point, it's over. That's just the way Esper works. All right, well, we appreciate you tuning in for another uh, Friday Night Magic match. Uh, once again, my name is Josh Fozard, and this is Derek Villadu. And thanks again for watching. We've got Crackle Games TV. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.